You also have yourself the infrared sensors there on the front. This does have a manual focus wheel just inside there, so you can just twist that to get the best focus. You have all of the main function buttons on the top here if you don't want to maybe use the remote control at any time. On the right hand side, you have your power port there. On the sides, on the right and the left, this is the air fan. So I will be testing out the fan noise to see how loud that may be. On the bottom, just on the right hand side here, you have yourself the filter. This is removable, so you can clean this after a certain period of time, which is quite nice. Then you just push it back in. And there you have it. One other question that I get asked quite often is, can this be mounted upside down on a ceiling? Yes, you can. These rubber pads on the four different legs in the corners, you can actually remove them and they will showcase to you different screws that you can mount a different type of universal ceiling mount for a projector. To elevate the projector a little bit higher, there's a little push button here. If you press this, it pops out with a little kickstand. You can actually set this in various different positions. I believe there's about four different positions and then you can close it quickly. I think that's a lot nicer than actually having those ones that actually have the screw, but it gives a good option to very quickly close that. And then finally, let's take a look at the ports on the back. You've got your infrared receiver there. You actually have an ethernet port as well if you want to connect directly to the internet to allow you to stream content from the inbuilt Android TV in this projector very easily. Headphone jack, AV port, VGA, two HDMI, and two USB ports. So plenty of connectivity options to satisfy pretty much everybody's needs. This silver part on the back is actually the rear firing speaker. So this is where you will hear all of the audio. Now let's take a look at all of the key specs on this projector. It is 1080p by native design, but it does upscale to 4K support. In terms of 4K, it does have H.265 decoding, and it does go up to 8K at 24 frames per second. Now, like I mentioned, it is 1,450 ANSI lumens, which is extremely bright for a projector of this price range and this quality. So I'm very excited about that. You can also get up to 300 inches of projection, depending on how far you do project it. And it has a very high 16,000 to one high contrast ratio. And it does actually have HDR10 plus and HLG decode. So you can be sure that you're going to get all of the different high dynamic range on the spectrum for the highest quality picture available. This also supports the latest Wi-Fi 6, and it does have 2.4 and 5G Wi-Fi connections as a dual support there. Like I mentioned, it does have two 10 watt speakers on each side, and it does support DTS and Dolby Audio. And like I mentioned, this does have an video here in broad daylight. There's a lot of sun coming through the windows. And as you guys can see, even in some of these nighttime clips on this video, it actually is pretty clear from where I'm standing and watching this. In terms of the fan noise, I was actually correct. This does go very loud, and I'm only about one meter away from the projector, and I can't hear any of the fan noise anymore because the speakers do go very loud, and I do have this set to volume 50, as you can see here. So if I actually did want to watch this in daytime, I think yes, it is pretty clear. I can use this. I can maybe set up my PlayStation and play some games on this during the day, and I still would be able to see pretty much everything I need to. Of course, when it does go darker, that's when you're going to get the most cinematic experience, and that's what I also want to test with a couple of demo videos for you. Okay, I've now made it black out in this room. It's very dark, and now you guys can see the demo of how this would actually look if you do watch this at nighttime, and to get the full capabilities of the brightness levels, the HDR quality, the contrast ratio, and all of those things that give you the highest picture quality. So let's go ahead and take a look.